Regulation C is almost upon us, which means it's time to talk about the new Pokemon that you'll be able to use in your ranked teams. Now, I'm going to split this video up into two. What you're watching is going to be the first half, where we're going to talk about the goldfish and the deer with a ball on its head. And because I will likely butcher their names, probably just going to refer to them by what animal they resemble. Anyway, starting off with the fish, we have Dark Fire type which you may know this typing quite well if you've played Gen 8 or Gen 7, because this Pokemon shares the typing of Incineroar, which offensively is actually pretty good. Not a lot of things resist the dual stab, and you do have six super effectives to work with. Some of these actually being quite nice to have in Scarlet and Violet, because Grass is a very common defensive typing. You do see a fair bit of Ghost and Psychic types in the meta also. Now, defensively, this is one of the better typings out there. You do have the Psychic Immunity, and Fire covers both the Fairy and Bug weakness that Dark has. So you are only weak to the entire spread that Fire's weak to, plus Fighting. Which, considering the immunity to Psychic, I think that is actually a fair trade, and makes this dual typing better than just Mono Fire or Mono Dark. It also has a decent list of things that it resists, and this typing has already been proven to be very effective defensively, as we've seen with Incineroar. That is, however, going to be slightly different in Scarlet and Violet, because we have Great Tusk now, which is a fighting ground type. So, for defensive terror types, I could actually see flying on this as a way to answer Great Tusk. Though, I could definitely see the usual water and grass defensive terror types as well. Now, all four of these Pokémon have really good abilities that are all going to be useful in select scenarios. The fish specifically having Beads of Ruin, which lowers the special defense stats of all the Pokemon on the field. That includes its teammate. Now, the amount that these abilities reduce the stat is 2.75. So the effect is actually not quite as strong as a stat reduction from, say, Intimidate or Snarl, etc. But it also is not a stat drop in that sense, so it will go past abilities like clear body and won't proc abilities like defiant. So in that respect, it's a much more consistent ability than one that just lowers a stat like intimidate. And lowering special defense synergizes very well with this one, because 135 special attack is a lot. Combined with everything that it hits, having 25% less special defense, you have an incredibly offensive Pokemon here that can get easy one-hit knockouts on a lot of stuff. And the rest of the stats are not too bad. It does have a little bit more physical attack than you'd probably want to see ideally, but considering the stat difference, I don't know why you would run physical attacks on this. And also considering its ability, there's even less reason to run physical attacks on this. So this is basically just wasted space. The physical defense and hit points are actually not super high. This is a bit physically squishy, but this does have good special defense. So with Assault Vest, it could actually take quite a few hits, and the speed stat is good. Not outstanding, but not bad. It is good. Now, these all have the same signature move, Ruination, which is very similar to the signature move of the Tapus, because it just cuts the target's hit points in half of whatever it is at the time. Now, for this Pokemon specifically, I don't think you would actually run this, but some of the more defensive Pokemon that we'll get into would make much better use of this move. It is, however, 90 accurate, so there is always that risk of it missing, kind of like Play Rough. So, a reasonably consistent option, but definitely not ideal for this Pokemon at all. Now, offensively, it does get overheat as well as Dark Pulse to get some very good stab offense. But it does get some other Fire-type moves in the form of Fire Blast, Flamethrower, and Heat Wave, which are all going to be great options to work with. This does also get Flare Blitz, which I think is funny. One thing this Pokémon does lack is coverage, because your best coverage move is Psychic, which is only going to help you with fighting types. And it does also get Bounce, but you would not, in a competitive setting, run Bounce on this. This Pokémon does have good offensive stab, so you probably don't need coverage on this. 
for the most part. But this Pokemon can also play a supportive role quite well because it does have access to Will-O-Wisp as well as Taunt and it even gets Screams. And to make it even better, it also gets Snarl so it can lower special attack. Now, what I have been seeing just early on, there are two main modes that this Pokemon typically is run. And the first is a very hyper-offensive fire terror type. You just push the attack button and hope you get one-hit knockouts. The other one I've seen is a support that plays a lot like Arcanine, where you have Will-O-Wisp and Snarl to stall out potential offense. And as long as you're outspeeding the physical attackers, that mode actually works quite well. And it has enough offense just built into it that its flamethrowers or dark pulses would still be hitting really hard, even if you're not really investing in that stat. So this Pokemon has a very similar flexibility to Incineroar or Arcanine, just without the Intimidate ability. But its ability can set up the offense for both itself and for another Pokemon, something like Fluttermane or Iron Bundle. So as far as the Ruinous Legendaries go, this is probably going to be the strongest one. And I would not be surprised if it is in the top 10 of most used Pokemon in the format. Okay, next up is Tinglu or the Boldeer, which is a Dark and Ground type. Now, this actually is a pretty good offensive typing because you have ground, which on paper, this is better than dark fire offensively. You do, however, have to work around the potential immunity to ground from flying types. But this is definitely a Pokemon that Goldengo does not like seeing at all. Now, defensively, it's not quite as good as Dark Fire, but it is still pretty good because you do have two immunities in the form of Electric and Psychic. You are, however, weak to six typings, some of which are quite common in the meta, like Fairy, which given the role that this Pokemon plays, it's kind of interesting that this has the less defensive typing compared to the fish. I still think it is good enough to work around. Uh, it's definitely nice to have two immunities, and I could definitely see water and grass being very common defensive terra types for this as well. Now, this one has Vessel of Ruin, which lowers special attack. So as long as this is on the field, anything on the battlefield using a special attack is going to be considerably less effective. Now, if we look at the stats, this has a lot of physical defense compared with a very high hit point stat. It feels very similar to Iron Hands, but with physical defense instead of special defense. Now, the special defense is still good, and its ability technically makes the special defense stat effectively higher, much more towards the actual physical defense stat. So this is quite a bulky Pokemon. It's not very fast, so you can sort of run it in Trick Room, and it has an ideally quite low special attack stat as well. So much more optimized across the board compared to the fish, though it is considerably less offensive with only 110 physical attack and its ability does not synergize with the offense. Now, this is a Pokemon that could actually benefit from Ruination if you want to run it super bulky with very little offensive investment. This could be a way to give it some kind of offense. But it does get great offensive options in the form of Throat Chop, Stomping Tantrum, even Earthquake and Fissure, which if you're running this super bulky, Fissure might not be a bad option. It has some coverage in the form of Rock Slide and Zen Headbutt, as well as Body Press, which I think is quite interesting. But just keep in mind, this Pokemon does not have a way to buff its physical defense. So you can't run an Iron Defense Body Press build with this Pokemon. Kind of upsetting because I feel like that would be its best mode but it does not have that option. Now, this does get some interesting options that might actually be pretty good for it, such as uh, Arena Traps, it gets like Spikes and Stealth Rock. It also gets Whirlwind, so it can cycle out your opponents into those traps. And it also gets access to Snarl, which synergizes very well with its ability. And of course, it also gets Taunt. So from what I can tell, this Pokemon plays the slow game very well. It has a ton of bulk, and its ability makes its bulk very well rounded. And this might actually be a Pokemon that works well with traps, which in a doubles format, traps are typically not considered all that useful. This could be the Pokemon that changes that. 
But for the most part, this will probably be used as either a defensive switch in or they're going to be set up for stalling because this is a great Pokemon for stalling out Trick Room. I do imagine these will primarily be running leftovers, but you never know. There might be a very offensive one built for a Trick Room team. It's a bit less clear what this Pokemon is just going to end up doing consistently, but it is still very strong and I'm pretty sure you will see it pretty often. If anything, just as a counter to the fish, maybe. But you pair this with screens and it is exceptionally hard to get through.